let's layer some fragrances together to smell like an absolute juicy snack. Uh, some of these scent layering combos I've already done before, um, and some I thought about and I'm interested in experimenting with and perhaps trying them out, and I'll share with you my opinion. So this is going to be a little bit of a casual sit down interactive video, a little bit different. Um, as you know, I love layering fragrances and I've published a few fragrance layering videos already, um, but this is going to be a little bit more interactive, a little bit more experimental if you will. So if you're interested, definitely keep on watching. But if this is your first time, hello, my name is Anya. I love fragrances and I post on this channel every single Wednesday along with a ton of bonus content in between. So definitely stick around. I have my notebook paper. I'm not going to spray these scents on me today because I'm actually about to go to a family dinner and they personally, they don't like it when I wear a lot of fragrance. Um, so I have some powerhouses in here that I'm going to keep off my body, but notebook paper is going to come in handy. So let's get started. So to start with, I have a scent layering combination that I actually wore yesterday, so I'm going to tell you how this went. Um, I realized I hadn't worn Baklava Royale in too long, and by too long I mean a few weeks. <laughs> Baklava Royale is one of my favorite fragrances. It's by Navitus. It was created in collaboration with Gabby Loves Perfumes here on YouTube, and it's a very nutty scent, like a very nutty almond, a grilled almond pistachio scent with some orange blossom and a hint of honey. It's inspired by baklava, but it doesn't smell exactly like baklava. It smells like a very nutty, kind of flowery version of it. And I really, really like it. This is one of my favorite fragrances. So yeah, baklava royale, I was thinking, what do I wear it with? And I teamed it with actually one of my favorite layering fragrances. This is by Banana Republic, and it's called Dark Cherry and Amber. It's a floral cherry perfume with freesia, cherry blossom, um, amber and cherries, obviously, and it's really, really nice. I love it. This is like a fruity, uh, nonchalant perfume, but it's really, really pretty. And I was thinking, okay, so since uh, cherry sometimes leans a little bit almond, and I can't remember if there's cherry in the scent pyramid here, but sometimes cherry and almond can kind of smell similar, I was thinking might as well pair it with Baklava Royale. So what I did is I, did, I think I did like two or three sprays of Baklava Royale, and I doused myself in this fragrance, Dark Cherry and Amber. So together, they were actually really nice. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to spray them on the paper, but I'm not going to spray them on top of each other. If you are new here and you haven't heard this tip before, um, what I do when I'm layering perfumes is I don't spray them on top of each other. I spray them in different places, but I want the sillage to kind of like intermingle together. Uh, but I don't want the fragrances to basically be overpowered by stacking them on top of each other, if that makes any sense at all. Because fragrances have different longevity, they have different performance. So when I'm layering, I just like to, you know, put one fragrance like in one area and then put another fragrance in, in another area and, you know, you get the picture. So this is really nice because, um, yeah, like I said, my logic was correct. I actually did end up really liking the set combo. So Bacca... Baklava Royale is very nutty, and I'm adding a little bit of a fruitiness in the form of this cherry. Really quite was quite lovely. I don't think I would pair a boozy cherry with Baklava Royale personally, because Baklava Royale already is so intense. I think having this lighter, fruitier cherry um, was definitely the right call. I really like it. So if I was doing this again, I mean, this is what I did yesterday, but I would definitely put more sprays of this and a few spray, sprays of Baklava Royale because Baklava Royale is kind of a powerhouse. So yeah, this is the first scent combo. Very much like it. And while I have all these fragrances in front of me because I'm doing a few, um, I'm filming a few videos at the same time, or not at the same time, but you know, in the same moment. I do a lot of pre-filming. Um, I have Sugar Leather in front of me. This is a fragrance that layers very well with a lot of scents. Um, so I layer this with pretty much just about everything. Not everything, but you get the picture. Sugar leather, great layering scent. It layers a lot with, a layer, it layers very well specifically with gourmand perfumes, with gourmand, woody, resinous perfumes. Um, and I really like it. So yeah, that's, that's another scent combo. I think I've done a video in the past where I featured this very prominently as like a center point for layering a lot of other different uh, combinations. So yeah, sugar leather. 
really love that perfume. Next up, we have the scent Aaliyah. Now, this is one that I've had for a little bit. I think it's been a few months. But this is a scent that's very much under the radar. It's um, kind of interesting because... Oh my gosh, I really love this. How, how have I not worn this recently? This is really, really good. So it's a fruity scent with like, I think cherries, raspberry, dates. Um, it's a, it also has a, a little bit of an aromatic touch to it. Yeah, this is really, really good. Yeah, I, why have I not worn this? Hardly, not hardly ever, but like I haven't worn this in the, in the last few weeks. I've been missing out on this. Yeah, this is really good. Okay, so let's see what happens. Um, gosh, this video is... This video is something quite different because usually I feel like I'm like very like formulated with my content, but now I'm like, let's try something different and let's layer some fragrances together. Um, let's see what happens when I layer or when I add on dark cherry and amber. Okay, so Aaliyah is definitely a fragrance that focuses more. Um, what other notes are present in here? I forget. Oh yeah, pineapple. There's pineapple in here too. Um, so it's definitely a fragrance that focuses less on like a cherry and more on pineapple, raspberry, dates, what have you. But I do think there's cherry in here. And layering it with a cherry perfume, it's a good combination. This is really nice. Yeah, this is definitely a surefire way to smell like a snack. I feel like this would be like a very nice date night combination. It's boozy, but not too boozy. It's still fruity, it's fun, but there's definitely something unique here because you don't find, I mean, I personally don't find a lot of dates and a lot of um, affordable perfumes in particular. And that's what really drew me to this one because I was like, I want a date perfume. I want a perfume that literally smells like dates, like dates, like, you know, the pits. Uh, <laughs> but I'm glad that I have this because it's actually very affordable. And I really, really like it. Yeah, together, yeah, this is, okay. Winning combination. Dark Cherry and Amber by Banana Republic and Aaliyah by Al Watinia. Um, both are available on my Amazon storefront, so I'll put them below. So if you want to check them out. Another perfume that I haven't worn recently, but I actually had someone on TikTok comment and say how much she loved this perfume when I recommended it to her. Uh, this is a sandalwood fruity scent. And to me, I smell dates, oh not dates, I smell cherry here in this perfume. Some people have said that they don't get that comparison, but I definitely smell like a fruity cherry here with sandalwood. It's a slightly tropical fragrance. It's very, very pretty. This is essentially a really pretty, um, sweet, but woody perfume to wear, especially for the warm weather. So this is a very versatile scent. You can wear this like pretty much all year round. Um, and it's also a moderate perfor performer, so it's not overpowering. And it has some gourmand elements to it. So it's great if you want to wear gourmand notes, but you don't want to be like, okay, for a realistic gourmand dessert. You know, this is really nice. It's really versatile. It's, did I say the name? It's Modest Du by Afnan. There you go. Um, I really like it. Let's try pairing it with Banana Republic's Dark Chair and Ever and see what happens. Interesting. I like it. I don't love it as much as I love um, Alwatinia with Dark Cherry and Amber. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know if I love it together. These two fragrances together, I mean. It might be because Modest Duo already has a bit of patchouli in the base, so maybe this isn't boding well with that patchouli. I like it. I don't love it. I'll be honest. It's nice. I wouldn't say this is like a winning combination, not like the other ones, but it, it's nice. Regardless, Modest Dew is a fragrance that is like so versatile and it's very long lasting, uh, but it's not overpowering. Um, so it's a really pretty fragrance. I need to get it out more. Um, and I'm actually going to start wearing it, I think, when it gets warmer because it's just one of those fragrances that's very versatile. Um, yeah, quite lovely. So yes, if you aren't familiar with this, Modest Dew, wonderful fragrance to try. It's fruity, but it's patchouli. It's a fruity chewy. <laughs> um, I get do get cherry in here. It's really quite pretty. So anyway, uh, those were all the scent combos I had today or that I was planning on experimenting with today. Um, this is a little bit more of an interactive video. I honestly think maybe I should start doing like live lives. 
lives, more lives, or any lives, since I haven't really done lives before, but sometimes I feel like I'm like, that, that will be like, in, like that. sometimes that feels a little bit intimidating. I don't know, but I definitely think it will be more fun to do like unscripted, kind of laid back videos like this in the future, um, especially because personally, I actually do want to start posting a lot more content on YouTube. And maybe this might be like an interesting series to try out like every once in a while. Like let's just like sit together and lay our perfumes and experiment and see what happens. So anyway, thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this format and found it interesting. And definitely check these fragrances out. Uh, we had mostly affordable here. Yeah, mostly affordable fragrances um, that I absolutely love. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.